for today's project, we're going to take a look at cleaning up my cockpit. Uh, recently, I picked up the new RockShox Reverb remote lever, which is awesome. I love it. This is so much nicer to press than the old button remote. Um, and when I went to put it in, obviously, I run XT brakes, which is nice. I love the XTs. I'm a bigger guy. They really made a difference. Um, but I've got a mismatch set up here between a SRAM product for the dropper post and the XT brakes for that are Shimano. And ideally, what I would end up doing is having, you know, using one of those combo systems. SRAM has one where you can fit a shifter and a brake together as one. And Shimano has several. These are the iSpec 2. And so what we're going to do is see what can we do in an effort to clean up our cockpit and make it a little bit nicer. So let me show you what I found. To solve this, I happened to run across a product while I was looking for some parts on WorldwideFactory.com. They recommended to me these Problem Solvers Mitch Mismatch Adapters. And these are made to help you uh, sync up your cockpit between the SRAM all-in-one and the XT, in my case, iSpec 2 all-in-one. And what it is, it's a couple of parts. There's a left hand and a right hand. And these mount up around the XT brakes on the iSpec here, hold up, and they provide a screw-in point for you to use the included screws to help hook up your SRAM component. Normally, it's for shifters, but I'm going to see if I can get it to work with my SRAM-based Rock, you know, the uh, RockShox Reverb remote. Because if I can mount it to my uh, front, fr my front brake, and get rid of the whole other clamp, then that will be awesome and so it looks like you've got a left and a right i looks like they'll match either way so it's kind of do i want to stick it to the left or to the right of my brake um of the brake lever itself so we'll try it out and see how this works out um instructions are pretty easy we have uh you know, pull your brake off pull out the little insert um, screw this onto your shifter here and then collapse that into the brake when you put the brake back on the bike and you have mismatch components all together under one clamp on your handlebar. First thing we're going to do is to take the reverb off the bar then we will attach it to the mismatch adapter and then we'll take the brake off and we'll pull out the iSpec little chunk fit in the adapter and put it all on. So we're going to need a T25 to get our uh, reverb switch off. I'm actually, I believe we're going to need to stick this part onto the adapter. So I'm going to take this screw off first here and just take it and set that down. And then we'll pull this clamp actually off here. So again, T25 is the standard for most of the SRAM stuff that come across. Next up we've got to get uh, the mismatch adapter on now. I've got a left and a right so I've kind of got two choices. I think for my needs the right one will put the switch more to my liking. I think the left one kind of puts it off to the right and isn't quite where I want it to be. So let's take this and you can see this screws in here. And the adapters came with a four millimeter screw. And since the XT stuff I've got is all four millimeter, this is one less T25 to deal with. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I could probably use the same T25 screw that I used before if uh, I was a fan of that instead. This fits on, peachy. Now let's open this up. Now these have a little button switch that you have to hit to actually open up the clamp. And I like to drop things. Sometimes I can have a hard time getting that clamp open. Uh, so 
let's try a little two millimeter uh, thing today. Voila, it's out, sweet. And here you can see there's this insert where our adapter's gonna go for the iSpec compatibility. So we can pull this up and in and the adapter just fits in place. And then we close it up and we'll clamp it on. go we'll stick our four millimeter screw back in snug as a bug and a rug now I'm looking at kind of where my brakes were before trying to match it up kind of pencil line this or whatnot these are pretty new carbon bars and I'm just still working on this um, the torque wrench I've got set currently to four newton meters which is what I've done my cockpit at it seems to work out there we go. And this is the one part of this I hate is these bits stick in there. So much better than in here. So voila, my brake's about, you know, my one finger brake. This is out. Um, feels pretty good. The one thing I'm nervous about is I don't have much room to play here. If I, if I want more room for my thumb, I need to move my brake lever as well. They're not independent, but you can't deny that is a nice clean cockpit there. So, ooh, that's kind of nice. Looks good. I think I'll probably end up moving it in just a little bit, but that is nice. So awesome. I definitely will have to try these out and give a firm review, but I am liking the problem solvers have solved my problem. I now have a nice clean cockpit. And so next time we'll take a look at the right side of the cockpit and I have an iSpec 2 compatible shifter that I will stick on and tie in and then I'll only have the one clamp on this side. Even though this one, the way they butt up is much cleaner and I'm not as dissatisfied with this, but I still think it'll be good to clean it up and just have a single clamp per side and that'll make, uh, make it nice. So we'll try that out for my next video. See you next time.